now continuing with the last lecture this is the combination clipper in which we have positive clipper as well as negative clipper so in this uh, circuit we have to get the output voltage so this diode d1 is reverse biased for the condition when the input voltage is less than v1 and the this diode is reverse biased when the input voltage is less than v2 in negative polarity so we will get this type of output voltage now clamper circuits clamper circuits are those circuits which changes the dc level of the input voltage without changing its shape so for a positive clamper if this is the input voltage input signal then we will get the output signal that is clamped up by some voltage v so we can see that the DC level of the signal is 0 whereas the DC level of this signal is V. So we have the highest magnitude as 2V and lowest magnitude as 0. Whereas in negative clamping circuit, if this is a clamper circuit, then if we supply this voltage, this signal to this clamper circuit, then we will get an output voltage which is clamped down by this polarity, uh, this uh, magnitude of voltage. In this uh, uh, negative clamper circuit, the DC level is down by this magnitude V. So the highest magnitude is 0 and lowest magnitude is minus 2V. Now, this is the circuit of a negative clamper. So in this uh, circuit, we have a capacitor and a diode. So this is the um, uh, simplest circuit of a clamper circuit. To understand its working, Let's assume that we applied this input voltage to the capacitor. So during the positive half cycle, what happens? The diode becomes short and the capacitor starts charging through this path. So up to this point, the capacitor charges to the maximum value of V in. So let's assume that the maximum value is 10 volt here. So the capacitor will uh, charge itself to this potential 10 volt. Now looking at this terminal, we have a negative 10 volt here. So in this circuit, the uh, signal will get, get clamped down by minus 10 volt. So the axis will become minus 10 volt here. Now this signal will now get superimposed on this potential. So we will have this type of waveform as a clamper circuit. When this is 0 volt, at that, that potential, we have 10 volt of this magnitude. So this is 10 volt. You can see here. When this is minus 10 volt, so we have a output voltage that is minus 10 volt and minus 10 volt this, that is minus 20 volt. When this is plus 10 volt, in that case, we have output voltage that is plus 10 and minus 10, that is 0 volt. So uh, we can uh, reconstruct the output waveform. Okay. Now let's see what is a positive clamper. In positive clamper, the polarity of diode is reversed. So in this condition, the diode will get uh, sorted only when in the negative wave cycle. So we have to assume that the first cycle is negative half cycle. In this cycle, when the wave is going to the negative peak, the capacitor gets charged to the peak value of minus 10 volt. Now looking from the output voltage, output size, we can see that this voltage is positive 10 volt or positive maximum voltage of the input voltage. So this output uh, waveform will get clamped up by the 10 volt. So at this position, we will have 0 volt and the axis will become 10 volt here. This axis is now 10 volt, positive 10 volt. So this signal will get superimposed on this DC voltage. So when this voltage is 0, we have this 10 volt only. So this is 10 volt. When this signal is uh, minus 10 volt, so we have there uh, minus 10 plus 10, that is 0 volt here. 
when this signal is plus 10 volt so we have plus 10 and plus 10 that is plus 20 volt likewise we have this type of waveform now we can see that this waveform is clamped up version of the input voltage that is this so input and output waveforms of the positive clamped circuit can be seen like this these are the, these are the different time frames that you have to understand for the drawing the clamped circuit output waveform okay so if you have any query then it is welcome thank you